so here we go again. I uh, woke up at 6 this morning and it's Tuesday by the way. Woke up at 6 this morning and it was barely doing anything. Then it got really heavy and then I was watching the reports on the roads where Ash had to go and they were saying it was slick. So you see Ashley's car there, she called in, told him she couldn't. It's supposed to do this most of the day and then there's another storm coming through at 5 o'clock apparently. We'll see. Gonna go out do some local errands today. But need to get to the post office. Have a lot more wrapping to finish to go in the post office. So maybe now I'm stuck here because I will not drive in this. The roads are covered already again, and uh, I just want to play it safe. I'm gonna put my makeup on. Otherwise. But I just made a cup of tea, put my makeup on, and then I'm gonna go and write some more Christmas cards. I'm gonna get Katie early today because her program was cancelled. But I told them 1.30 because I wanted to. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Tuesday. Bye. As soon as it's less lovely snowy day, i got to take my furniture off the back deck. Um, called the pizza place to see if they were delivering. And they were. So Ash and I are going to have pizza for lunch. It's lunchtime. It's, I'm taking Katie in an hour. I didn't get out because the roads. I just asked the guy that delivered the pizza and he said they are a bit slick. So I'm just going to stay put. The house is a mess, forgive it. I'm not doing any cleaning till the snow's finished. Are you? No. Let's see what's going on. Huh? 17th. Tuesday the 17th. I just shoveled this whole lot and you can't even tell. I see marks. Just got a beautiful pick-me-up arrangement from Claire. In the little sled. That's China. That's really cute. Thank you, Claire. Just trying not to get the address. Recently, a few real shoppers tried for totally skillet. All right, we're going to run to the mall. Um, I have to do some shopping for Ash. I haven't done any yet. It's 27 degrees and it's quarter to eight. And this is what we ended up with, probably about four inches. Pete came home and he just uh, did the dry the walkway and stuff again. Oh man, this car is not heating up. Oh, it's flipping cold. Oh, what did I do? I don't know these buttons. The seat warmers for this one, but I don't know where they are. His dad's car has all the bells and whistles. Look at the roads. You watch, they'll have closed the mall early because of the weather. And we'll be the only fools trying to get in. That looks pretty. Very pretty. People have been saying it took them two hours to get home. Now these roads are clear. Yeah. You know, they, you know they, uh, when the fire, truck, fire trucks are up the corner, they had snow plows come by. So they need to drop salt on this. Because, you know, the plow doesn't get everything. Yeah. yeah. But seriously, this isn't worth it. If you think the roads are slippery, I would rather stay home. Because we can go Friday night. Yeah, I'm glad Ash didn't come to work today. I'm glad I was the overprotective mother. There's <laughs> the rest of it in there. <laughs> I forgot we were out because I feel like I'm wasting time. We should be shopping. <laughs> Still pretty icy around here. Dead. What time is it, Pete? Like quarter to eleven? Oh, I'm ready to go. Did you have fun? <laughs> she should be right there. She coming? You can see our pretty sparkly lights up the stairs. 
guys, hope everyone's doing well. It's 25 to 12. Pete and I just got back from the mall about 10 minutes ago. Just made a cup of tea as usual. And uh, I'm going to go drink that now. I didn't um, vlog at the mall. Number one, because we were shopping for Ash. Um, didn't want her to see which stores because she does watch the vlogs. And uh, number two, it was very eerie quiet because of the I don't know if it's because of the weather. The mall's open till midnight, but it was so quiet. It seemed like the only people in the mall were people that were working there. Um, and you saw what it was like when we left. It was very quiet. Um, they were just cleaning up the parking lot. I'm really, really pleased that Ash took the no go to work day today because I would have been too worried about her driving. And even when we drove over the bridge, it was pretty icy on the roads. It was fine coming back because they've had all the salters out again. And the weird wacky thing is, on this this Sunday coming, it's supposed to be 63 degrees, which is spring. So everyone's going to get sick. <laughs> We've gone from, what is it, 21 right now? 21 degrees Fahrenheit? What's that? I don't know. In centigrade Celsius, I can't think right now. But anyway, it's cold today. Um, we have left the two cars up at the top of the driveway just to be on the safe side. And I have Katie again tomorrow. I had Katie today, have Katie tomorrow. And as far as I can tell, I have Kate Thursday and Friday unless anything changes. Pete and I will run into the city on Saturday, a uh, Sunday, so I can go get some bacon. So I have that over the Christmas break. And then we are going to stop at another mall on the way home. There's a couple of stores in this mall that I want to get a few things for Ash and then she's done. And then I just have a few other things to get and we are finished. So I feel a little more complete. I'd say we're at like 70% now, so I feel a lot better that we did go. I didn't want to go earlier because I was worried about the roads, but Pete said, let's go. Pete hurt his back this morning. <laughs> Don't know what he did. He said when he lifted up his arm, when you have a bad back, everybody out there who has bad backs, you know what it's like. You can't sneeze wrong, you can't cough wrong, you can't twist wrong, because you can put the whole thing out. He wasn't even moving, he said. He just kind of lifted his arm, and he's put his whole back out to a point that he couldn't bend over and pick things up when he was at work today. One of the guys was asking if he was all right. Um, so, <laughs> poor Pete. So he's just going to sit now. He wants to edit a couple more pictures, a couple more of the senior portraits. And then he said he's going to go to bed fairly early because he's back at Con Air tomorrow. Um, I want to thank everybody, everybody. And I know I'm saying that with emphasis on the everybody. But just all the comments, Facebook messages, um, and all the kind words and texts. And Claire, those absolutely beautiful flowers. Um, that was a real surprise, and I really do appreciate those. That just really made my day. And, you know, just all the comments, I just really appreciate them. And I know I'm not the only one in the world that gets down in the dumps when you think about things like this, but um, I know we've all had lost and stuff like that. But I do appreciate everything everybody said, and I took it all to heart. And thank you. I'm not going to get mushy because I will start bawling and I've been quite good this afternoon. I think having Katie here, it kind of like, you know, I had to deal with Katie who was right as I finished shoveling. And that's why I can't lift my arms up to hold this camera today because my arms are hurting from shoveling. I did the whole driveway up by myself. <laughs> um, Roxy decided to take a little run. Ashley came out to give me a time check and... Uh, Roxy decided she was going to come out the back door, fly down the stairs, and she was running around the yard, and we're not fenced in. Um, and I can't catch her, even in the house when the doorbell rings. It takes everything out. Number one, I can't bend over because I'm a stupid back. But she's so small and fast that uh, she started to run up the side, and I thought, if she goes in the road and it was all icy, I would never catch her. Ashley was chasing her. So then I had to say, do you want a... And I mentioned something that Roxy really likes. Roxy's a little pig, by the way. And she come running back and I managed to catch her. So I was like, oh, that's all I need is for Roxy. She's like a little baby to me. I can't have her run off. I really have a question for today that I can think of right now. So I'll just say, did it snow where you were today? And yes, we're getting spring-like temperatures, like I said before, on Sunday. So we'll all be out there in our bikinis. 
but it will be warm and all this snow will be gone and melted so it won't be a white Christmas after all but that's okay um, I'll take 60 degrees right now till my shopping is finished and I will talk to you soon bye